morning children welcome to my youtube channel kamni zubot classes and in this classes today's my topic is layers of gastrointestinal tract this is the structure of basic four layers of gastrointestinal tract and these four layers are serosa this is also called as visceral peritoneum or adventitia second one is the muscularis third one is the submucosa and fourth one is the mucosa this gastrointestinal tract is also called as alimentary canal or digestive tract it is a long tube continuously running from the mouth to the anus and the main function of this gastrointestinal tract is to digest and absorb food this gastrointestinal tract includes the following organs and these are mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine and the accessory digestive organs are teeth tongue gall bladder salivary glands liver and pancreas this gastrointestinal tract measures about 9 meter or 30 feet in length to kitna lamba hai ye 9 meter aur ye kahan se kahan tak run karta hai from mouth to anus this is the outermost layer and the external layer which is formed by a layer of peritoneum that's why it is called as the visceral peritoneum or the serosa membrane this visceral peritoneum is continuous with the mesentery mesentery kaisi hoti hai that i will show you so these are the mesentery present inside the large intestine ye dekhiye ye sari mesentery jo aap ring like structure dekh rahe hain so mesentery is a double fold of peritoneal tissue kiska fold hai double peritoneal tissue that suspends the small intestine and large intestine from the posterior abdominal wall it helps to anchor them in place and allowing some movements inka jo main function hota hai wo basically anchor karke rakhna dono ko aur movement ko allow karna it provides a channel or passage for blood vessels nerves and lymphatic vessels so agar aapne mere channel ko like nahi kiya hai subscribe nahi kiya hai and share nahi kiya hai then please hit the bell icon and get all notification of new videos in your mobile this is the outermost or external layer which is formed by the peritoneum that's why it is called as the visceral peritoneum this visceral peritoneum is also called as the adventitia layer adventitia and serosa uh, almost both are same but there is slight difference adventitia is basically uh, consists of uh, arular connective tissue with dispersed collagen and elastic fibers and we know about the collagen very well collagen fibers are the main structural protein found in skin and other connective tissues vitamin c plays an important role in the formation of collagen fibers yellow elastin fibers means elastic cylinder branched and form network they are formed of protein elastin the main example of this adventitia membrane is retroperitoneal organs example ascending colon to ye kahan present hoti hai large intestine ke ascending colon ke andar second one is the serosa serosa ye dekh rahe hain serosa serosa this is the same as adventitia layer but covered by a visceral peritoneum and where it is present inside the stomach सो so, इसको हम बोलते हैं इंट्रा पैरिटोनियल ऑर्गन्स और कौन से हैं हमारे इंट्रा पैरिटोनियल ऑर्गन्स स्टमक नाउ द सेकेंड लेयर इज मस्कुलरिस मस्कुलरिस को हम मस्कुलर कोट भी बोलते हैं आउटर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ दिस मस्कुलरिस लेयर इज लॉन्जिट्यूडनल मसल एंड द इनर मोस्ट इज द सर्कुलर मसल This muscularis is basically made up of smooth muscles. Circular muscles fibers के inner side फ्यू ऑब्लिक मसल फाइबर्स भी प्रजेंट होते हैं दैट आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड प्रजेंट इन साइड द स्टमक ओनली 
in between the longitudinal muscle fibers and the circular muscle fibers there is a network of nerve cells and the parasympathetic nerve fibers called aerobex plaques or mesenteric plaques of aerobex so ye dekhiye this is the aerobex plaques now the main function of aerobex plaques is to provide nerve supply to the muscular layer and it is also responsible the production of peristalsis third layer is submucosa so what is this submucosa submucosa ye dekhiye ye dikh rahi hai submucosa ye hai hamara pura white portion this is also called as submucosa layer it is formed by the loose connective tissues richly supplied with blood and lymphatic vessels Uh, it also consists of network of nerve cells and sympathetic nerve fibers that is called mesner's plaques and this mesner plaques are also called as the submucosal plaques of mesner this mesner's plaques present between the muscular coat and the mucosa layer the main function of this plaques controls the secretion of intestinal juices now we have learnt about the two plaques one is the aerobex plaques and the second one is the mesner plaques in between these two plaques two nervous system have occurred and uh, these are sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system so let's learn about this autonomic nervous system is the part of peripheral nervous system the function of autonomic nervous system is to control activities inside our body and these activities are heart beat gut peristalsis sweating etc autonomic nervous system is again divided into two parts sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system both are antagonistic to each other means ye dono opposite direction mein always work karenge main function of sympathetic nervous system is to require quick actions responses and reactions and the main function of parasympathetic nervous system that doesn't require immediate reactions sympathetic nervous system is also called fight or flight parasympathetic nervous system is also called rest and digest or feed and breathe now the fourth one layer this is about the fourth layer and the fourth one layer is called as the mucosa mucosa or mucus membrane it secretes mucus to lubricate the inner lining of the gut so ye kya karti hai mucus ko secrete karti hai aur hamari inner lining jo gut hai usko lubricate karti hai it is composed of three layers the outermost layer is the muscularis mucosa middle layer is the lamina propria and the last one is the epithelium muscularis mucosa is a thin layer lies next to the submucosa to so, yani ye submucosa se lagi hui jo next layer hai this is called as the muscularis mucosa it consists of outer longitudinal and inner circular muscles and both are unstriped next one is the lamina propria This is the middle layer of the mucosa. तो हम देखिए कहाँ पे है ये रहा This is the middle layer of the mucosa, and it consists of loose connective tissues, blood vessels, glands, and some lymphoid tissues. So last one is the epithelium. So ये देखिए epithelium layer, and this layer is the innermost layer, which forms gastric glands in stomach and villi, and intestinal glands in small intestine. so this is all about the four layers of gastrointestinal tract good day to all